Good day. Welcome. Today, we want to look at a very important topic in physics, and the topic is kinematics. Kinematics. So, kinematics. Well, where do we have this very word kinematics? How, how does it uh, come into, into physics? The word kinematics is from the study of Newtonian mechanics. It's from the study of Newtonian mechanics. Newtonian So Newtonian mechanics. When we are talking about Newtonian mechanics, we are talking about uh, we are talking about the basic law of Isaac, uh, Isaac Newton, which is F equals m e. Now it happens that uh, the, 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 if if the mass, I mean if a, if a body is 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 as large as can be seen by a microscope. That such 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 body obeys what Newtonian uh, laws, but when when we, when when we, when we talk about small particles such that such, such, such as cannot be seen by a microscope, that's when we begin to talk about um, the quantum physics and the like. But this is what Newtonian mechanics. When 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 an object is is as is as big as can be seen by a microscope, he, he obeys what. Newtonian mechanics. So it mean, that, that means that what every object that we can see around us on this earth or in the world, they all obey Newtonian mechanics. So we, we want to look at what are the various branches of Newtonian mechanics. We have uh, two two branches. There, there are two branches of Newtonian mechanics. So when in the study of Newton, Newtonian mechanics, we have these two words. We have Dynamics and kinematics. Now, when we talk about dynamics, dynamics studies the reason why objects move. Why would why would why would, uh, why would this object move? What is the cause? What is behind the movement of the object? That is what uh, dynamic studies. Why kinematics? Kinematic studies the behavior of what of the object as it is moving, or before it moves. You know, some there. You know, basically physics is 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 about uh, you you having some some information and predicting what will happen thereafter. And that is that is that is what uh, kinematics does. The kinematics is the study of. Uh, of the uh, motion of objects, that is study of the behavior of motion of what of an object. Why the dynamics is the study of what of what causes the motion. Why does that motion? Why does it? Why does it? Why why would an object begin to move? That that is what dynamics. But kinematics. Now, if, if to, to to define dynamics in clear terms, you can say that dynamics is the study of 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 the motion of I mean of the study of the cause of the motion of, of objects. Why kinematics is the study of the effects or the behavior of what of objects as they are moving without considering what without considering the cause. So dynamics does not consider what causes the motion. But that is the main focus of what? Dynamics. Kinematics does not consider what causes the motion. So our main topic today is kinematics. So kinematics. Let, let us just. I've given the definition for kinematics. Let's just look at uh, the the topic as we begin. So the main topic is not Newtonian mechanics. We are looking at kinematics. We are studying the way objects move. So now, what do we need to study movement of objects? The, we need just two basic quantities. You know, in physics. We have fundamental quantities, and we also have uh, quantities that are derived. That is, they call them, them what derived quantities. So there are two fundamental quantities that we need in the study of kinematics. From these two quantities, all other quantities that are needed to study kinematics are derived. 
in kinematics mass is not involved mass is not involved all you need is what is to know distance and time so these are the two things you need distance and time so you know everything that happens in this world happens in space and time if you, if you are going to organize an event and then you are to invite somebody the first the first question the person asks you is where is it going to take place and at what time so the study of kinematics you will make use of these two fundamental quantities and then other ones that are derived these are the fundamental quantities then other ones that are derived that from from these ones we have then speed or velocity we have uh, acceleration so now let us define these terms now what is what is a uh, we all know that motion is, is what change in position change in position of what of an object with respect to time i mean we just change in position of an object but what is distance distance is talking about what the space that that is covered during motion if i move from here down to whatever please what is the distance i cover that is what i mean what is the space that i have covered it is measured in what? In meters. Distance is measured in meters. So now, distance is measured in meters. Then we have what? Time. Time. What do we? What do we? What? What can? How can we define time? You no. Know, you know. I said that before any event to occur, you must occur in what? In space and what time so time is the period is the period during which an event occur you can put that down time is the period during which an event occur now like this distance now distance can be measured in order if you can have other measurements such as kilometer uh, miles yard uh, and the lights so sometimes in physics you'll be given problem in one unit and you will be asked to convert it or you will need to convert it to another unit to give a proper answer so you have to be careful of units like time also time also can be measured in, in uh, seconds uh, minutes hours day uh, years and the light so that is just how it is all those are what unit of measurement of time so you should know that what seconds if i measure time in seconds that means i need Maybe the time is not so large, but if the time becomes so large, like maybe three million seconds, I I, I can I can I can uh, uh, try to do what put it in years or in uh, in, in in days, probably whichever way we are I am asked to. Now we have um, distance, we have defined that. Then we have uh, time, we define that. Now what is speed? Speed is the rate of change of what of position of of a, of, a, of a body if if a body is at this very let's say this the if, if it is an or if it is origin now a body is here and then it, after some time t it moves down here and then it moves a distance x the speed of this uh, body is what the is talking about how fast the object move from this very point to this point that's what x over t where t x is the distance and t is the time taken for that very body to move from uh, this point to this uh, to distance now we, we have talked about that there, there are there are some there are some things there are some contrasting words in uh, in a kinematics that people often confuse for one another or for each other rather so we want to look at some of those words uh, we are going to define uh, velocity uh, when, when we when we consider that so what are the contrasting words that is that is often confused contrasting mm. 
in kinematics. So now, I want to look at those contrasting words. Number one, we have distance and displacement. So let's talk about distance and displacement. So you know, the, the, many people, when they see these two words, they use them interchangeably. So the people are confused what the, the two words really mean. Now, I told you before that distance is what? Is the space you cover during your what? During your travel or during your motion. The space you cover when you were moving when you, or when you are moving. The space, the total space you cover, you add them together. That is what? Distance. But what about displacement? Displacement is talking about it's, it's talking about how far you are. Let's say if we, you know, you know, if for, for us to know the position of an object, we have to know, we have to have what we call a reference point. Just like in our, for our Cartesian graph, but here in, in this, uh, this very video, we are not talking about, we are not going to be talking about um, uh, uh, kinematics in two dimensions. We are going to be looking at it in one dimension. So let me, uh, uh, that is what, let's say straight line, straight line. So, so in, in kinematics, we are, we are just studying a body that is moving what on a straight line. So if we take this to be our origin, and then a body moves from here down to this place. Now, this is this origin here. The, the value of x here should be what zero from the origin because there is a reference point. So you want to know how far you are. Now, let's say if I if uh, let's use this. If this is if the distance for between this and uh, this place. And this place is what five meters, for instance. Now, distance is, is, talk, is talking about how far. I mean, uh, uh, the, the total land space you cover during motion. But displacement is talking about how far you are from your starting point after you you have started moving. You get. So now, um, displacement in this case, if if let's say if if, if I if I'm the one moving, and then I move from here down to this place, I have moved a distance of 5 meters. But if I move a distance of, uh, let's say, uh, 3.5 meters backward, uh, that is, I move down here, then I move back like this. Now, what is, what is the distance? What is the distance? And also, what is the displacement? The distance is what? The distance is going to be, because distance is telling you what? The total land space or the total space that I cover during the motion. So I moved 5 meters, then I moved backwards 3.5 meters. So that's going to be what? 8.5 meters, right? But what about the displacement? Let's call this distance. Display, distance. Let's call distance um, DE. Then let's call displacement DP, right? Now, displacement in this case is going to be what? Now, how far you are from your starting point? How far you are from your starting point? That's, that's the best way you can understand displacement. Now, what, what, how, far, how far am I from the, from the starting point? After I have walked back to this very point, my displacement, I'm not going to add the two of them. But rather, since I, I moved away from, I mean, I have moved towards the, the starting point. So how far am I from the starting point? It's going to be what? 5 minus what? 3.5, which is what? 1.5. Five, right? So and that is how that is how uh, that is the difference between what uh, displacement and distance. Now, but to to state it clearly, the main major difference between distance and displacement is that distance is a scalar quantity. You know, remember we have scalar quantities and then we have vector quantities. Scalar quantities they have only magnitude; they don't have direction. But displacement on the other hand is a vector quantity. It has magnitude. It also has what direction. So uh, if I if I'm going to uh, let's say if 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 the person moves okay let's say I am the one moving and then I move a distance of uh, let's say eight meters to the left. Now the question is what is the distance covered? The distance covered is just that I'm going to do what 
add all the total space covered. Now, remember, I, I am moving from here, 8 meters to the left. So that what, what is the distance covered? The distance covered now becomes what? DA now becomes what? Um, 5 plus what? 8, which is what? Uh, 13 meters. Now, but what is the displacement? You notice that this is my origin, right? This my origin is, is what we determine uh, where, where, which part, you know that, just like in, in our Cartesian graph, that the origin, any place, uh, the, 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 from to the right hand side of the origin is always what, positively, to the negative part, side of the, uh, that is for the x-axis, is always what, negative. So that means that what, if I move a distance of, of 5 meters, since this is the positive x, so that's going to be what, 5, and the distance, I, I, I mean the displacement, dp, is going to be what, um, 5 minus what? 8, which is what? Minus 3 meters. Notice that the, the, the meter, I mean the, um, the sign for, there's a sign here for what? Displacement. But there is no sign for distance. So even if, let's say for instance, if this is my origin, this is my, we are, we are still taking that to be our origin. And then I move six meters, let's say six meters to the to the left. What is the distance? What is the displacement? I start from here. I, I, I'm not starting from here at this time. Now, this is my positive side, this is my negative side. Now I move six meters to the left. My displacement is what? Is is displacement dp is what? Minus six meters. But what my 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 distance is what? My distance DA is what? Exactly what? 6 meters. So, now, displacement will tell you the direction. The direction that I moved. I move in what? In the negative x -axis direction. But distance just tells you the magnitude. Now, now, as a scientist, which one would you like to, to work with? Someone that will tell you both the distance and displacement and all the, only the, the only, only, I mean, uh, only, uh, that will tell you both the magnitude and, uh, and direction or only magnitude. Scientists like to work with what? With uh, a vector quantity that will tell us both magnitude and direction. And so that is how we, um, that's, how, that's how it works. Now let us talk about another contrasting uh, issue in, in uh, physics. Another one is speed and uh, velocity. Now, I told you before, speed is what is the rate of change of what distance or the distance covered per unit time. So if I if I cover a, a distance x in time in a time t, I will call I, I will, I will, my speed is going to be what my speed s is going to be what um, let me say s p is going to be what x over what t, right? That is that is it. Now. But velocity, on the other hand, let's say if uh, if uh, like let's, let's just differentiate. Now, velocity, on the other hand, is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. This one is what the rate of change of distance with respect to time. So displacement. You know, remember that displacement is a vector. Distance is what is a scalar. So that makes what speed a scalar and velocity what a vector quantity. So velocity really is a vector quantity having magnitude and direction. Speed has only magnitude, and so it is what a scalar quantity. So if if I'm going to describe the motion of a, of, a, of a, let's say let's say I, I'm a police I'm a police and I I I I am to I'm at the checkpoint. And someone asks me, did you see this number of car? Which uh, where did they go? Then I will I will just I will just tell you okay. I saw them, but they tra they were traveling at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. Now, the question you will ask me is, in what direction? So you need what? Velocity. Velocity will now tell you, okay, in this direction, in that direction, or whatever. So because if, what if, the, if the road is like um, in, uh, 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 parted into four, so now, how, how would you be able to locate the very person? Let's say the person takes this, to, to this direction, and then, you as a person looking for a search, whether it's a criminal or whatever, 
you have to look, you have to do what? You have to take this road, take that road, take that road before you now take the right road. Before you know, the person has escaped. So you have to know what the direction so that you can uh, counter the person by uh, increasing your own speed to, to meet up with the person. So that is how, that is, that is, uh, this, this is one of the two things that are confusing in physics. Then we have also average. Speed and average velocity. So now, average speed and average velocity. Remember that speed is the distance covered. Speed is the distance covered per unit time. Now, I'm going to take an example. Where we know where we'll be able to differentiate between what average speed and average velocity. Average speed and average velocity, they are they, this one the, um, average speed is what is is of course the scalar and average velocity is of is a uh, vector. So now the, the the major difference, let's just take this example. Let's say this is this is the example. A car travels. 40 meters, 400 meters to a market and travels back. In 12 seconds A what is the average velocity uh, what is the average speed and B Average velocity. What's the average velocity? So let's calculate. Remember that speed is what total distance traveled divided by what the time taken for that travel. So now average velocity is the same. Average velocity. Now average velocity. When, I mean average average speed and average velocity. They can't they can't really tell you. They can't tell you the whole story of the motion of, of the motion of that very car. Okay, they said. It, it, it travels to a, to a, to the market place in twelve seconds. So so it, do, it doesn't it doesn't tell you whether the um, car stopped at some point or whatever. So but we just let's just differentiate between average speed and average speed velocity. Now average speed is going to be what average uh, speed is going to be equal to what total. Distance traveled divided by what time taken. So now, what, what will be the total distance traveled? Remember, the person traveled to the market. So this is maybe from this is the house. This is a house that's 400 meters, right? To the market, then it travels back. What's the distance covered? That's what exactly 800. What's the time taken? The time taken for that travel is what 12 seconds. 12 seconds. So it is 800 meters, uh, and this it is in, in what in seconds. So what's the answer here? It is 800 divided by 12. We have sixty six point six seven meter per second. Now you can pause the video and calculate the average velocity. So let's look at the average velocity now. Average velocity, what would it be? 
Now, notice that average velocity from the word velocity, velocity means what? Change in displacement over what? Time taken for that change. What is the change in displacement? That's going to be what? Change in this displacement here is what? Now, the person went, uh, um, the, the person traveled 400 meters and then travel the same 400 meters to the back. What is the displacement? So that's what an um, average velocity equals what? Change in uh, now this 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 very uh, um, sign here, signal here, mean a symbol here is what? I call it delta. It is also what for change. This change in displacement. over time taking. Now what's the change in displacement? The change in displacement from since the person moved 400 meters forward and 400 meters backward in the same direction. Therefore we have, we have it that was the change in displacement, displacement is zero and that is over 12 which is what? Zero. Do you see the, the big difference between uh, average velocity, I mean average speed and average velocity? So average speed is going to talk about what? Total distance divided by time, but average velocity talks about what? Uh, talks about the displacement, the change in displacement over what time, or the displacement from the uh, starting point. Now I told you displacement means what? How far an object is from the starting point. While distance tells you how uh, objects are. I mean, um, uh, distance tells you the. Uh, the total space you cover during your motion. It doesn't consider whether you whether you went back or you go forth or whatever. It just tells you the land uh, with the space you covered. So that is.